questions 1 through 10 on the 2020 grade 8 AMC 8. Luca is making lemonade to sell at a school fundraiser. His recipe requires four times as much water as sugar and twice as much sugar as lemon juice. He uses three cups of lemon juice. How many cups of water does he need? We have lemon juice, we have sugar, and we have water. So he has to use four times as much water as sugar. So if this is 4x, this is going to be X and he has to use twice as much sugar as lemon juice so if this is X this has got to be X over 2 right twice as much so we are given that this is 3 so therefore this must be 6 and this must be 4 times that which is 24 so he uses 24 cups of water answer to number 1 is E Four friends do yard work for their neighbors over the weekend, earning $15, $20, $25, and $40, respectively. They decide to split their earnings equally among themselves. In total, how much will the friend who earned $40 give to the others? $15, $20, $25, and $40. Well, first of all, what is that equal amount? We would have to add these guys and divide by 4. And that is... Uh, 65 plus 100 divided by 4. So that's 25. So the equal amount that everybody gets is 25. This guy already got 25, so he doesn't have to give or receive anything. But this is 40, so he has to give him $5 in order to get him up to 25. And you'd have to give him uh, $10 to get him up to 25. So in total, the $40 guy would be giving away 10 plus 5, which is $15 to the others. So number 2, the answer is C. Carrie has a rectangular garden that measures 6 by 8. She plants the entire garden with strawberry plants. Carrie is able to plant 4 strawberry plants per square foot, and she harvests an average of 10 strawberries per plant. How many strawberries can she expect to harvest? 6 by 8, so that's 48 square feet. In each square foot, there are four plants. So 48 times 4 is 192. In each of those uh, plants, there's 10 strawberries. So 192 times uh, 10 is 1920. So there you go. 1920 is the number of strawberries that she will harvest. Number 3, the answer is D. Three hexagons of increasing size are shown below. Suppose the dot pattern continues so that each successive hexagon contains one more band of dots. How many dots are in the next hexagon? Well, this is one, this is two, and this is three. So it seems like the top row will always increase by one. So the next uh, row will be four. And that's pretty much the only thing you really need to... Um, you know, be conclu conclusive of, and then I just have to just draw the rest. It doesn't have to be a work of art. Uh, there's going to be four on each side, right? And there you go. So I'll count them up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So there's 18, but they don't want how many were in that outer region. They want the total number of dots in the next hexagon. Okay, no problem. And this one had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and therefore that had 19. So that's basically going to fit inside there, right? So there's 19 in there, and then plus an additional 18 in that outer row. 19 plus 18 is 37. So number 4, the answer is B. Three-fourths of a pitcher are filled with pineapple juice. The pitcher is emptied by pouring an equal amount of juice into each of five cups. What percent of the total capacity of the pitcher did each cup receive? So we have a cup, and we have five of these glasses, I guess. 
or cups, whatever. So we have a big pitcher and then five cups. So three quarters of this goes into equally into these five. So basically, the three quarters is split uh, by a fifth. You know, three quarters, you divide that by five, and that's basically what I've written here. So three over 20 is the percentage of the total capacity of the pitcher that each cup receives. That's pretty much all there is to it. And they want a percentage, so multiply top and bottom by five, and if you do, you get 15 over 100, and that's a little bit more clearer that that's 15%. So number five, the answer is C. Aaron, Darren, Karen, Marin, and Sharon wrote on a small train that has five cars that seat one person each. Marin sat in the last car. Aaron sat directly behind Sharon. Darren sat in one of the cars in front of Aaron. At least one person sat between Karen and Darren who sat in the middle car. Well, let's say this is the front, and let's say this is the last at the end. Well, they tell me that Marin is at the last. Okay. Then... Aaron sat directly behind Sharon. So if Aaron's here, he's directly behind Sharon. Okay. That means nobody can go in there. Nobody can go in between. Darren sat in one of the cars in front of Aaron. So Darren's going to be somewhere here. He can't be here because I just explained that those two are together. And then at least one person sat between Karen and Darren. Therefore, Karen must go here. Karen can't go here. I explained already. Karen can't go here because at least one person has to be between them. Karen can't, can't go here for the same reason. So this is definitely the order that they're sitting in. And the middle person, obviously, is A. So number six, the answer is A. How many integers between 2020 and 2400 have four distinct digits arranged in increasing order? For example, 2347 is one integer. Well, we have four numbers. They have to be between those two. So the first one obviously has to be a two. The next number, because the digits are in increasing order, has to be a three. Could it be a four? Maybe, but the problem is if it becomes a four, then the number will become greater than 2,400. It will be two, four, and then five, and then it just becomes bigger. So these two are the only possible digits for the first digit and the second digit, two and three. That's it. And then the next two are the ones that are going to have quite a bit of variation. So let's say the next one is four. That means for the last one I can have five, six, seven, eight, or nine. So that gives me five possible numbers. If I had two, three, and then five, the next number could be six, seven, eight, or nine. That gives me four possible. If I have two, three, and 6, the next number could be 7, 8, or 9. There's three possible numbers. Then 2, 3, 7, 8, or 9, 2, 2, 3, 8, 9, 1, and I think that's it. So adding these guys up, we get 15. So number 7, the answer is C. Ricardo has 20, 20 coins, which uh, are either pennies or nickels. He has at least one penny and at least one nickel. What is the difference in cents between the greatest possible and least possible amounts of money that Ricardo can have? Well, the greatest would be if there were all nickels except that one penny, because you have to have at least one penny, right? So 2019 times 5 plus 1 times 1. That's the greatest. The smallest or least would be if you had all pennies except for that one nickel because you have to have at least one nickel. And there you go. This is the um, this is the math. The only mistake I think people can make is they, they don't put it in brackets. And if you don't put it in brackets, then you might, instead of subtracting this, might add it. Okay, so let's do this. If you factor out the 2019, that's going to be 5 minus 1. And then it's just going to be this 1 minus 5. And I had emphasized that for a reason. Plus 1 minus 5. So this is just 2019 times 4. And that is, of course, uh, minus 4. And then that becomes 8072. 
So that's it. Number eight, the answer would be C. Akasha's birthday cake is in the form four by four by four inch cube. The cake has icing on the top and the four sides and no icing on the bottom. Suppose the cake is cut into 64 smaller cubes, each measuring one by one by one inch. As shown, how many small pieces will have icing on exactly two sides? So here we have two, and similarly the corners will have two uh, sides with icing for that bottom row. So let's just break it up into row, the top row, second row, third row, and the bottom row. Okay, so as I explained, there's going to be four in the bottom row that have two sides with icing, basically the corners. Very similar to the row three, also the corners will have two sides that have icings, and there's four of those. Very similar to uh, row three, uh, is right, row two. Same thing, the corners again will have two sides with icing, so four of those. The top row, however, is a little bit different. The corners this time have three sides that were icing, and we want exactly two, so we don't want those guys. But we can have this one, this one, this one, this one, and similarly that one, that one, this one, and this one will have two sides with icing, so that's a total of eight. And then we add up these guys. Eight plus four plus four plus four is 20. So number nine, the answer is D. Zara has a collection of four marbles, an Aggie, a bumblebee, a steely, and a tiger. She wants to display them in a row on a shelf, but does not want to put the steely and the tiger next to each other. In how many ways can this be done? Well, the total number of ways of arranging four is four times three times two times one, like that. And that is 24. So that's the total. But we don't want the steely and the tiger together. So what I'll do is I'll calculate how many are together and then subtract it from 24. So put the steely and the tiger together, and that leaves the aggie and the bumblebee. So this is, you treat this like one. So. It's three, two, and one in terms of the number of arrangements, so that's six. But here's the tricky part of the question. You can also do it for this kind of arrangement, T and S, where that is one unit. And this also gives you three times two times one, which is six. So you gotta take this six and six and subtract it from the 24. So 24 minus six minus six is 12. So number 10, the answer is C.